So I leave booktube for five minutes and then when I return I find out that there's this huge party being thrown and I feel like a teenager who's been invited and forgot about the party so I had to make a video and come back. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm glad to be back and uh, I'm participating for the, first, for the first time in the Booktubeathon. It's been hosted by Ariel Bisset. I'm going to put in the description down below the relevant links where you can find out more. And really quickly, if you're visually impaired, I'm a middle-aged woman, white with brown curly hair, glasses, and I'm wearing a Bordeaux pullover with stripes um, in a garden with lots of green going on around me and behind me is an apple tree so let's get into the video now challenge number one is really convenient read a book with a person on the cover it's convenient because I've been reading this book I'm always halfway through it it's called La Reina del Sur from written by Arturo Perez Reverte and Technically, it's just an eye and an eyebrow, but it's a person on the cover. Please ignore this. It's my toddler's way of saying I was here. So these little stickers just don't belong to the book cover, obviously. And uh, this book, um, I'm determined to finish it this week in the book Tubaton. Um, it's kind of cheating, but hey, I have to cheat my way through the challenges. It's excellent. It's a thriller, but it's also uh, very much about the Latin American culture and sadly about uh, a topic that's very important um, and it's the drug cartels. So if you're in any way interested in Latin American culture, especially from a European point of view and you need to understand more, I would recommend this book. Um, it's a page turner, it's very exciting. Um, it's not the book's fault that I haven't finished reading it, it's entirely my fault, but if I could, I would just sit down and finish it off. So that's challenge number one. Challenge number two, read a hyped book. Now, this one is a book that has been sitting on my shelf for ages. A friend of mine gave it to me. It's called uh, Glenn Kill, Ein Schafskrimi, written by Leonie Schwan. And the English title, I believe, is Three Bags Full. It's uh, about a herd of Irish sheep whose shepherd is killed and uh, they go on a mission to try to find out the murderer and understand how the minds of humans work. Um, it's very cute. It's got like a little, I don't know, Dalman Kino. It's got like a thumbnail uh, cinema, you know, the little... Um, figures that move when you turn the pages so um, it's an easy read and I'm looking forward to this challenge number three finish a book in one day now this one obviously I have to cheat around a bit so I chose the thinnest one on my shelf which is Roald Dahl the way up to heaven and other stories it's barely just 78 pages long and uh, yes so a short story compilation I'm looking forward to this and challenge number four, read about a character that is very different from you. I mean, obviously, um, drug cartel mafia queen, good looking woman, smart and good in mathematics, uh, oops, oh god, <laughs> uh, sheep, and I'm sure there's a character in here that's very different from me, so easy. So, number five, finish a book completely outdoors. What can I say? Number six, read a book you bought because of the cover. Okay, cheating again. So this book I really bought because of the cover because it's it looks very old and I love the little drawings. Um, it's got palms on it and I'm always attracted to older looking books, especially if they have something like an Enid Blyton thing going on. And uh, yes, this is what caught my eye and I bought it. So there's my challenge. Challenge number seven read seven books okay so um, that's three books I need four more you don't have to do every challenge but because I've got a slight OCD thing going on what I'm going to do is just replace the four missing books by my favorite comics so that's it I'm going to have seven so what are your ideas what are your to be read piles and uh, let's get reading and let's have fun and enjoy yourselves bye